morning welcome to the channel and today i brought you some affordable cycling jerseys and bib shorts rssc sports have sent me some uh, products uh, they have sent me them for free but i can say what i want they've not told me i can't say what i want so i'm going to say what i want go through it go through the prices with you and see if it's any good i mean that's all the important thing at the end of the day if you're going to buy something even if it is at a budget price, you want to know if it's going to be what you want it for. You know, is it going to work? Is it going to be comfortable? And stuff like that. So I'm going to go through the stuff that they've sent me and let you know what I think. So let's go. So, RSSC Sports. I do not know a lot about it, I've got to admit. But I'll put up the website here and this is what the website looks like. Basically they do any sort of jersey you can have a look at see through these here there's loads and loads and loads of different sort of like bright colored jerseys uh customized jerseys you know there's some really good nice looking jerseys if you go through it all and right so they've sent me free uh jerseys and free bib shorts as a, a set uh each one i'll put the set up here and tell you the price and uh I'll go through them and see what what you think, what you think, and I'll let you know what I think. So this is the first one they've sent me. Now you get the bib shorts and this top, and I think it's around about forty six pound, which I've put in that corner there. But yeah, the feel of it are really nice, really well uh, put together, really good zip on them as well, and. The what most important thing is the bottom. It's got like that gripper on the bottom, so basically it doesn't ride up when you're wearing it. And they do, they do actually do a good job at not riding up. And the comfort them and the quality of them are really good for the price. They've got the free pockets on the back as well. So that's that one. The one I like the most is this one. How nice is this? That's got the free pockets on the back. And it's got like the gripper on the bottom. And these two I'm showing first because I've actually been wearing these and using these for a couple of weeks now. Not outside because the weather is absolutely atrocious. But I've been using these on my smart trainer. What I'll do is now I'll put in uh, now in a minute the two videos when I've been using these two products on my smart trainer. And I've gone over to an hour, but I'll, uh, I'll put them in now. So, testing out my second gear I got, and I've been going 44 minutes, and again, feel comfortable, really good. Uh, yeah, they're not riding up, the top's not riding up, and the cushion on the bib shorts is really good. Anyways, let me crack on. I'm doing the snowman at the minute. And I've got a hell of a lot more climbing to do, so I'll get back to you after this. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, the way I look at for comfort is basically, I think it's more uncomfortable being on a smart trainer than being out riding outside. So I got to around about 40 to 55 minutes on them two rides, and I still felt really comfortable. Uh, as you can see, I'll get these bib shorts out. These are the ones that go over the white top. I've got the Emirates uh, logos on the side. And these are really comfortable. And as well, like I've just said in them two videos, the padding is absolutely exceptional for the price and budget line you're getting. It's sewn in really well. It's quite thick and comfortable. The gel padding fits perfectly where it needs to be. And uh, yeah, I'm absolutely really impressed with that. It is a really good product for the price. So this is the third one they've sent me. They come in these bags as well. So they're nice and sealed. Let's have a look at this one. I haven't used this one yet. But you get the bib shorts as well. And these are around about 46 quid. So yeah. What do you think of that? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to going to be using these. These, yeah, so these items are going to be really good if 
you do have expensive clothing. I've got Lacolle, I've got Castelli gear, but I'm constantly using it when I'm on my smart train as well. But if you want something where you, if you want something to, uh, cheap and affordable, what you want to use for training purposes, these are ideal. These three sets I'm going to use for every time I'm on the smart trainer because, like I said, they're comfortable enough to use, and I'm not using all my expensive gear when I'm going out on rides. I probably will use this on some of my training rides because, like I said, it is good quality, and the t the the tops, because of the gripper, they stay down and they st and they fit really well. I'm two XL in Lacolle and Castelli, so I ordered two XL in these, but these have got a lot more room in them. So, yeah, I probably could have got XL in this brand. So, depending what you are on this Castelli and Lacolle, you might be able to go size it down on these. But, other than that, you know, I find them really good. Really good quality for the price. I mean, like I said, you get for what, what you pay for. The two tops, what I've, well, I've worn, these, basically, I've worn these for a couple of weeks and they've washed each top i've probably washed them about five times each the pair of them they haven't run the colors stayed in they haven't shrunk or nothing and that was my biggest worry when you're buying cheaper products but they know they just look exactly the same there's you know the wife's washed them for me as she normally washes them so yeah she hasn't shrunk them and the color hasn't run so i'm really happy with that anyways this was just a quick video on some products i've been sent i'm absolute desperate to get out but the weather is absolutely atrocious next week i am in the peak district with the wife and i'm hoping to take my bike with me so in the mornings i'm at least wanting to go up when it's past and manta and i'm praying the weather is gonna be good because i at least want to bring that video to you but anyways subscribe and like because it does help my channel grow uh, and thanks for all the support all the ones who watch me and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get on the bike soon and bring you a, vid a bike video soon. But I'll see you on the next one. And thanks for watching.